Welcome to Tech Wizard with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. You are loading tons of files to single table by using copy activity. You need to know which records are loaded from which file, which option you will use. To answer this question, what you need to do, you if you will be able to save the file name right next to the record, that's how you will be able to tell which record is coming from which file. If you go to the copy activity, there are uh, options available. So right here, if you go to the copy activity and you go to the source here, then once you configure your uh, uh, copy activity for the source, create a link service and uh, use the data set and all that, then uh, you have uh, option uh, at the end uh, called the additional columns. Uh. Now you can uh, simply click new and once you do that, uh, it's going to show you this uh, tab right there and then it will show you these uh, uh, variables. Uh. So you see right there dollar sign dollar sign file path, that's actually the file name. So uh, here I can uh, give a simple say file name and then uh, I can delete this old one, I really don't need it. So once uh, this run, uh, this is gonna be a new column called the file name editor. Now I can go to sync uh, and then I map to the some uh, column uh, uh, name in the table where it says file name. So every record uh, or number of files, uh, whatever I load uh, for each of the record, uh, the file, uh, uh, name will be loaded as well. Now I did not have uh, actually I do not have a SQL Azure SQL and all that so I in the sync I just use a text file so I'm gonna go ahead and execute for you and uh, this should create a, a output file for us with the extra column called the file name. My input file actually does not have anything like that so if you take a look on the input folder and here is my input file. So input file has only three columns, first name, last name, and address. So see right there, and then uh, we have added extra column called the file name. So once uh, our pipeline is completed, we can go to the output container. And in the output container, I have uh, that file that we just created. So this is a file with all the columns and an extra column called the file name. So remember that we use uh, that additional column and we use the dollar sign, dollar sign, file path uh, variable or whatever you called and that created us our file name uh, column. And it is the uh, same in the name of the file right here. So this is how you will be using uh, dollar sign, dollar sign uh, uh, file path uh, in your additional columns in copy activity to save the file uh, name uh, in your table and that's how you would know that uh, which records are coming from uh, which file. Uh. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.